hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl naza ugala bringing you vlogs from umwahia abia state if you're just seeing my face for the first time thank you for clicking on this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back so today i'm going to show you a part of umwahia that i don't think i've shown on this vlog um i'm going to show you a whole, whole area the major villages in umwahia are a and anibeku Today, I'll be showing you So guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey with me. We'll be seeing Michael Lopara's house. That is the former premier of the Eastern Nigeria. So guys, watch this video to the end. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to drop your comment. Tell me if you pass your house. Tell me if you are from Moho. And I'll see you guys. So guys, we're starting off this journey from exactly Umuago Ibeko. Yes, we are going to enter through Umuago Ibeko. Not to worry, Umuago Ibeko is not the only route to Ohoho area. You can enter through the express, you can enter through Ishingu, you can enter through any other means. But today, for the purpose of this video, we're entering through Umuago Ibeko. And the first village that will be seen is Omoda Isingu. Omoda Isingu is a popular village in Ohoho, which has produced so many notable people, which includes Chief Friday Okengo, Chief Onoman Oji, who was a former commissioner in the old Imo state, Reverend Waribo Iwala, who happens to be the father-in-law of Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. Yes, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is actually married, being married in this village that we are entering now. That's community secondary school, Omoda, by my right. As we are proceeding, the house we are seeing right now by my left is the house of Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. And if you don't know who Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is, she is a Nigerian American economist, a fair trade leader, environmental sustainability advocate, human welfare champion, and a global development expert. She was the former minister of former finance minister of Nigeria, coordinating minister for the economy, Nigerian minister of foreign affairs, and currently she is the director general of the World Trade Organization. Wow. So we are still in Omoda Isingu and you can see guys we are proceeding this journey we are still on this journey there's also reverend again from this same Omoda who was the first person to translate the uh, English dictionary into Igbo yes that's St. James Methodist Church Omoda Isingu That's St. James Methodist Church. Yeah, you can see. And that's a small market, a small Umoda market we are seeing by the left. So, guys, we are leaving Umoda now. So, guys, we are leaving through this newly constructed road. Um, this road cuts across from Mission Hill. Uh, it cuts across Omo Omoda and it leads you in inside Ohoho village. There are several villages along this road, which includes Omoka, Omokoro, and Omomboko. I heard that recently Omomboko changed their names. Please, if you're from there and you know their new name, let me know in the comment section. Now we're entering proper inside Ohoho village. We'll be see seeing several villages. There are so many clans in Ohoho village and um okay let, let's put it there are so many villages inside on uh -huh, which includes okaiga nkwego okaiga alike afugiri umuhu nkwachara umwerie umuawa alocha and umuawa alike as we move further i think the first village that we are going to meet as we move is the is umuawa As we proceed into the villages, some of the villages in Nohoho, let me start with mentioning some of the markets that you're going to find around here. 
I always tell you guys I'm a market junkie. So I'm starting off with the markets that we're going to see. There's the popular Nkwegu market that we're, of course, we are going to see it first. There is our four mother market, the markets we just passed now. There is our four Mawa market, there is our Fugiri market, there is Nkwachara, there is Oriendo market, and of course, there is Ori Omwago market. These markets are named according to the days that they uh, the days that they they buy and sell there of course we know that in Igbo land there is the Afo, Uwo, Ori and the K. So guys, as we move along, I'd like to tell you some things about Ohonho village. Ohonho has produced so many notable men in the society, both at home and abroad. There is no doubt about that. It's a fact. In fact, if I begin to mention the notable people from Ohonho till this video ends, it will not finish. There are so many notable people. Some I could get their names and others I couldn't get their names. But of course, we will not fail to mention late Dr. M.I. Opara, who was the Eastern premier of the Eastern old Eastern Nigeria. He was from here and he did so many notable works around this area too. We will not also forget Chief Onye Mogochiko, who was the pioneer chairman of NDDC. Chief Emenike Ike, Chief Ikeche Menike, who is a notable politician and also his wife, Professor Chibuzo Obuag, who was the former vice chancellor of Abia State University. Late Just Justice Ikechi Obuago, Late Sam Okulehe, Bishop Saint Okurafo, who is the General Overseer of Bible Life Church, the Anglican Bishop of Umwaha Diocese, Dr. Geoffrey Ibauchi, is also from Ohoho, uh -huh, and so many other people we cannot mention. The former Nigerian Ambassador to Argentina, Chief Empire Kano. Emeka Onwoka, former MD, Diamond Bank. They are all from Mohoho. Like I said earlier, we will not finish mentioning them if we keep mentioning them. We are right now at Umawa. Umawa Locha. This is Umawa, where you see Nelson Comprehensive School and the other schools. There are so many other schools that are he here too. Uh, schools like uh, Williams Memorial Secondary School. Williams Memorial Secondary School was founded by late M.I. Opera, and I think he, he, it, he named it after one of his teachers who taught at uh, Williams Memorial Secondary School in its early days. There's also uh, a Fugiri Girls Secondary School, uh, which was formerly known as Adam Opera Girls, uh, named after the wife of M.I. Opera. There's a home community secondary school, Okaigan Kwegu Secondary School, Oriamini Secondary School, Community Secondary School, Lomoda, Ofeme Technical Secondary School. These are the popular ones that I mentioned. If there is any one that I miss, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to tell me if there are things that I miss here from here. And you feel there are things I'm missing, please let me know in the comment section. As we proceed, we are still. Uh, around uh, Omoawa and we're proceeding now to Nkwebu. Nkwebu is a popular market that anyone that lives around Omoawa here knows that Nkwebu is a popular market but the day as of the day I made this video it was not a market day so we couldn't see much people. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to visit Nkwebu market. If you want a market vlog from this village market let me know is one of the busiest markets around here but soon going to meet it
So guys we are approaching the market now this is the market all this area on a very busy market day you're going to see traders everywhere there's nothing you'll not get in this market there's nothing except of course human parts you will get virtually everything local things you get fruits vegetable oil clothes in fact, I think I'll do a market vlog. <laughs> I just pray they don't chop on my head. So we are moving down now into Afuge village. So I won't fail to mention that uh, the former president's wife, that is the impatient Jonathan, has her maternal home from this area. And while they were in office, she visited this area several times. The people here are predominantly farmers and um, you can see the farm, we are in the farming season, there's uh, their crops, cassava, yam, corn, so many things, so many things. There's also two oil plantations around there, um, Olonnam oil plantation, the Olonnam farm settlement. Uh, which was founded by Bank Elokbara. There is Olona Farm North and there is Olona South. I think there are two of them. We are approaching um, church now. And um, which church is this now? Okay, this is Methodist Church. So guys, this road leads to another part of a home and it leads you straight out to the express junction the enugu Patakot express road villages you see along that road include Amogu, Omago, Ofeme, and there you also find the Ohoho community secondary school which has produced so many notable people 70 percent of the the people here worship at Methodist Church. My father will always refer to Methodist Church as Church in Domwa here because that is, I think that was the first church that came to this area. But now there are other churches. There's a Catholic Church. There is the uh, White Garment Churches, Cherubim and Seraphim, Abuzo Apostolic Faith, um, Living Faith and some other churches, Assemblies of God, the Apostolic, you're all going to find them, them here. But most people here worship at uh, Methodist Church. So we're approaching Dr. M.I. Opera's house. This is Afugiri. All this area we are now is Afugiri village. The Afugiri man manu. <laughs> Okay. Also worthy of note is the Konak Foundation uh, and um, his good works around this area. Unfortunately, I couldn't visit the foundation, but it's a foundation that has done so much work. So guys, that's Dr. Emma Barra's house we're looking at. Yeah, that's the gate. And you can see the building. Yeah. So this is where Dr. M. I. Obara hails from Afugiri in Ohoho, Omaha, not local government. We're proceeding now into the villages. We're going to see so many villages inside this Afugiri. We're going to see so many villages. 
villages will be seen around there in no sequential order includes umoname is a village umuosu village umwa kama fungiri nkata alike egu neleke umuoche umwa afyaka nkata opuala and so many others of course don't forget to let me know if i missed your village or if we passed your village <laughs> Around the whole oh, there are so many festivals that they carry out, including the New Young Festival and the Ekpe Festival, but the most popular is the Ekpe Festival. And this place we are in is where Afugiri people normally carry out their Ekpe Festival. I forgot to mention that Ukwegu, the market square, that is where Ukwegu people also carry out their own Ekpe. If you have witnessed Epe before, let me see your hand if you uh, have witnessed any Igbo traditional festival. Let me know in the comment section. For the Ibeku people, they are more inclined towards EDG festival, which is normally around um, uh, August, September. But for uh, Ohumu people and uh, their closer neighbors like Osa people, Mopara people, they love Epe festival so much. As we move on, I'll be showing you where each village also carry out their EDG festivals. We couldn't get to where Omoda people do their own. It's along that new road that uh, I showed you. But uh, like I told you earlier in this video, we might not be able to cut across all parts of Oho. Of, uh, Oho uh, uh, is so large, it even cuts out to the express. The other express, the Enugu Potakot Express, where there are villages there, Obaha, and so many other villages. So, guys, here we are. Umongolorie, yeah, this that road leads to the old London farm settlement, and um, here this one leads to which village now? Let's see, okay, okay, leads to Umwegu, Obiohon Autonomous Community. These are inside the villages, you can see the villages are well fed, showing you that the people here, these are. Uh, works of the notable people that are around here. Guys, we are at Williams Memorial Secondary School. I have a close affinity with this school. No, not because I schooled here, because I wrote my first jam here, my first and only jam. I wrote it here. And uh, <laughs> even though I had lived in Omaya almost uh, all through my life, before then, I didn't know Williams. I, already, I knew people. Uh, that go to school, that go to Williams every day. People school here. That, that that's one of the classes there. 
So I just came on my own. And the first time I entered Moto and came straight to Williams Memorial Secondary School. Yeah, that's their signboard there. If anybody has any uh, knows any backstory as to why it's named Williams, I told you the one I know uh, that it was Emma Barada renamed it Williams Memorial in memory of his teacher. If you have any other contrary work, please let me know in the comment section. The next school we are going to see is Adama Barada, Adama Girls. <laughs> Guys, I rep Holy Rosary Secondary School. I schooled in Holy Rosary Secondary School. Adam my girls was like a counterpart. <laughs> After girls high school, oh my Adam my girls, oh God, <laughs> Holy Rosary and Adam my girls, and um, yeah, we are approaching it. And like I told you earlier, Adam my girls was named after. Adam Oba, who is still very much alive, even up till now. That's their fans. The the school was locked, so we couldn't go in. Right now, it is being known as Afugiri Girls, which has been renamed. But we still know it as Adama Girls, yeah. <laughs> That's Adama Girls Secondary School, still very much in existence. Let me also know if you schooled in any of the schools that we just passed. We are now heading to the major road. Where we we'll see villages like um, uh, Abaya, Umoyota, Umokehe, and uh, so many, some other villages too. Yeah, we are busting out to the major road now, the road that leads to Zuakoli, uh, Bende, um, Isukato, the main road. And it's just like a cycle that we have gone through right now i'm sure you enjoyed this uh, vlog please let me know if you enjoyed it right let me know in the comment section type something for me let me know if there are things you like to add let me know other things you like to see in my next vlogs let me know if you want a repeat of this vlog i'm very much available to do that and don't forget to like this video in fact at this point if you have not liked this video if you have not subscribed to this channel please do it before continuing and make sure you watch this video till the end let me know other parts of umwa here you want me to show you and i'll certainly do that <laughs> So guys, we just joined the major road. That's where we main secondary school we just passed. And we're moving forward. Now these villages are uh, somehow like by my left is uh, Ibeko. Yeah, leads to Boom and uh, other villages of Bang. Uh, then by my right is Oho. The road leads to Abaya and some other villages to fast. It's still a long stretch of road. So many villages there.
so guys we are gradually proceeding to the end of this video video like i said i couldn't cover so many areas there are so so many areas in fact you can't even begin to imagine so many other areas that we couldn't cover in this village but like i said let me know which particular area you want me to visit and i'll do that we are going to see umuire junction now umuire is one of the is a very popular junction too if you are coming in to this area from town umuire junction is very popular we are going to see that and after that we'll be proceeding to sign but where this video will be coming to an end let me know if you enjoyed it that's umuire village you can see the signpost this is Umire village uh, so guys if you have anything to say to me if you want to send me any suggestions i don't want to do that in the comment section my email address is chinaza ugala at gmail.com you can send it to me or you can send me a dm on instagram at chinaza gladys and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching up until now. I really do appreciate. Bye.